Welcome to Blackboard discussion on perfect competition number eight. In this particular discussion, we're going to talk about efficiency. Now, this is in the framework of our big problem of unlimited wants and limited resources. First, let's think about unlimited resources. If you have unlimited resources, the last thing you want to do is produce things inefficiently. What you want to make sure and do is to produce things in the least costly way. Let's look at average total cost here. Well, if I'm producing things way up here, on average, per unit, it costs that much, we'll say, $5.95 to produce this stuff. That number is a representation of the cost of these resources, a representation of what else they could be doing. Least costly way is not $5.95. The least costly way is down here, and I'm just looking at the average total cost curve, and the reason why that's the least costly way is because it's at a minimum. Now, if you look at the final equilibrium of the perfect competition dynamic, you see that output is about right here, and that output level is something where the average total cost is at its minimum. So efficiency, production efficiency, what happens? Well, for pure competition, we end up in the long run at the minimum average total costs. We are producing in the least costly way. If another company produces in a more costly way, its resources are used inefficiently. You end up with a net loss to society. Somebody else is making it $5.95. It's like we lose that extra almost $2 of resource for every unit they produce. We wouldn't want that. Let's move on now. Let's think about allocation efficiency. Now, allocation efficiency has to do with, well, if there are unlimited wants and limited resources, first, we want to make sure we're using our resources efficiently, and secondly, we want to make sure we're using them where we want them, what the product is we want. It's not good enough just to say we're making this product least efficiently. The next question is, are we making what people want? And in this regard, you can look at this particular model in this way. The marginal revenue or the price is saying, how much benefit does society get from producing the next one? It's $4 worth. Should this company produce one more? Well, no, because the cost of using those resources, the additional resources needed is greater than the benefit. We wouldn't want this company producing one more. How about this company producing one less? No, because look, the benefit of $4 is much higher than the cost of producing that, and you don't want to stop there. You want to keep going where you can capture all of these places where the benefit is greater than the cost. So you want to produce right to here, where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue, or you could consider it marginal benefit. Allocation efficiency. Does it occur in pure competition model? You bet. Marginal cost equals price, which is really equal to the marginal benefit for that. So we have these two efficiency conditions that are achieved during a perfect competitive market. One, minimum average total cost, we get production efficiency. Two, marginal revenue equals marginal cost, we get this marginal benefit equals marginal cost, we're allocating our resources efficiently. If we allocated too few resources to making corn, then those resources are being used somewhere else, and uh, I'm afraid the benefit is more here, so they should come here. Because this cost curve, if you think about it, is really also an, a, a description of opportunity costs. Where else could we use our resources? What's their most valuable use somewhere else? Opportunity cost is wrapped up in this marginal cost line. If they're only worth this much somewhere else, but we'd benefit this much if they were used for corn, then we should produce corn with those resources. Keep producing corn so long as their alternative use or their opportunity cost of using these resources to make corn is less than the marginal benefit or the benefit of producing more corn. Produce more corn. That's the point. Think of opportunity costs when you think of marginal cost as well. That drives us to allocation efficiency. That drives us to production efficiency. That, my friends, is what this perfect competition dynamic is all about. We end up solving, in many ways, our big problem of unlimited wants and limited resources. 
through this beautiful free market dynamic, individuals coming to express their freedom of choice, entrepreneurs using resources the way they choose, an absolutely free market, they meet, they exchange, they make all these beneficial exchanges, we get there, resources are allocated, it's nirvana. This is the idea, this is the strong argument about perfect competition. This is why it's such a key part to economics, economists, and the beautiful attraction to the pure competition market. Thanks for going through all eight of these discussions.